You don't need to be told that tornadoes are very destructive. But tornadoes are not just a big wind. A tornado is a rather peculiar structure in nature. It's a central core which is still around which revolves at tremendous speed a great mass of air. And if you could see one from a satellite up there, it would look like this. That's the cloud mass surrounding the Earth, and in the middle is this spiral formation, a bit like a donut. Well, on the ground you can see that formation too, if you happen to be in the right place, or perhaps the wrong place, at the right time. And it's sometimes called a twister. It looks rather like the water gurgling down your plug hole. Again, a central core which is still with a mass of stuff going around it in water, in the bath, or in air, like that tornado there. And you can make a sort of model by doing this. That's a stick with a rubber ring around it. If I push that rubber ring along, you can see that there's a lot of movement in the rubber, tremendous amount, but the ring formation stays very much like a donut. Revolving around itself, it's true, but it's a stable ring formation. And a tornado, while it has a lot of energy and movement, is a stable formation. Well, I can show you that on a small scale by using my tornado factory here. It's part of a mailing tube, cut down, and on the end there I've stuck a piece of uh, thin cardboard with a very nice clean round hole in the middle. And on the other end will go the cap that belongs to the mailing tube, like that. So that's an enclosed space in there, and it's a burning chamber. So to be safe, I'll shove down a, an aluminium floor, like that, an old uh, pie plate, light a piece of newspaper, and when it's burning, shove it into the chamber. And to stop it burning almost immediately, cut off its oxygen. Now, as it stops burning, it'll produce smoke, and that'll come out of the hole at the end. And if I tap the cap, you'll see, coming out of there, are very nicely formed smoke rings. Most of them are nicely formed. There are some erratic ones, but they come firing out there as mini tornadoes. Stable donuts of fast rotating air shooting off as their own little stable ring-like formation. Well, if they have all that energy wrapped up in them, and they can be entities that are directed around the place, I should be able to use them to demolish a small city. Here's my city here, the candle flame. And by using this as a cannon, I'll bag off that, and judging by where the rings go, try and hit the wick. You see some are going astray, but some are on target, and the closer they are, the more damage they do to the flame. And a direct hit knocks the flame out. So there you are, mini tornadoes, mini cities. Imagine both of them magnified thousands and thousands of times, and you get an idea why tornadoes do such damage when they hit a city.